if you're looking for safe and reliable account grinds, make sure you hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter. Hey, what's good, y'all? RT the Gray here with a quick video for you guys. Hopefully, you're having a good day today. But I am playing these Stephen Curry challenges to get that Hall of Fame chef badge. And I wanted to bring to you guys how to run series in NBA 2K22. Now, I covered this video in a couple 2Ks previously, but they kind of changed it on next gen. So I wanted to show you guys how to run series and switch up your offense a little bit, have a little bit more dynamic offense outside of freelance and just pick and roll or just plays. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get going to that 13,000. We are very, very close. And if you're looking for more tips on an exclusive basis, I post tips daily on my Patreon. Make sure you check out that link. And it's just another way for you to support me outside of YouTube. But anyway, let's get into this game and show you guys how to run series real quick. All right, now as we load into the game, those of you that don't know what a series is, is it's pretty much a set of plays that are going to run continuously for you and you do not have to ch change it after you put your series on so let's get into the settings we're going to go to game plan we're going to go to our offensive settings right here so as you can see right here where it says the game plan if you want to set this to manual or custom you can go over and put that on custom and then you'll be able to change certain things on the coach's settings right here so freelance series order and then freelance series repeat you either want it to repeat on success or or do not repeat so if your play is successful it will repeat again sometimes i like to have that but we're going to put it on do not repeat for now then you want to have it on either static or dynamic i like dynamic because it'll filter through the different plays static it'll kind of go through in a synchronized order we'll explain that more a little bit later so going down to series Right here, you can select what series you want. We've covered the double drag series and the Iverson series before. So let's go over the Iverson series real quick. So we're gonna select Iverson series, and then in your coaching settings, you do wanna make sure your play vision is on. We can actually put this on all plays. Play call messages are gonna be on show all. That way it's going to show you what's happening on the court. So now let's get into the on-court action and what you actually have to do to get this series to run. This is what people were running into issues with. They were not able to get this to run properly because they weren't selecting the right thing. So right off the bat, you want to hit the right D plaid and you wanna hit game plan. Once you go to game plan, you're gonna go down to run series. And then that is going to allow you to run your series on the next possession. So let's just get a quick bucket. It's a bonus inside, easy bucket, he's too big. In the next possession, we should have our series running. All right, we've got the ball back. And as you can see, Marcus Smart is calling for the ball automatically because we are in the Iverson series. And now we have these Iverson cuts going and we get Andrew Wiggins open for a three. So now that our series is set, every single time we come down the court, we're going to be in an Iverson set, meaning we're gonna have somebody coming around that uh, that foul line on those screens, those Iverson screens, and we're gonna be able to get an open look like that. So let's let the computer shoot the ball real quick. And then even on the fast break or out of bounds, you don't have to call any play once you set your series. You already have it set. Now you come up to court, now Bird is running it. And as you can see, we're in the Iverson series again. We already have our play set up for us, and then we get something going. We're gonna call a pick and roll after that didn't work. Get inside, hit Andrew Wiggins over in the corner, wide open for three again. So that's the Iverson series. That's how you set it up. And the reason why that that's cool, because you don't actually have to select anything afterwards. And it's gonna be the same look each time down the court, but the plays are going to change up as you go too. As you can see, that one was Fist Iverson but there's gonna be a new play next time we come down the court if we select it. So let's see what happens off of a missed shot, off of a rebound. As you can see, when we come to court, it's still going to allow you to run the Iverson series. We get Andrew Wiggins here, we're gonna get it back out. And then once the series goes through, you get actually into a freelance or whatever freelance you have set. So now we got Bird coming off of this cut here. We're gonna take this three because it's Larry Bird. We're gonna green that. So, all right, we got the ball back. So now to change your series, what you want to do is hit the right D-pad go down to series and then you'll be able to change it on the fly fly meaning it's going to still take forever because these menus suck and now we have selected the double drag series so our next possession down the court will be in the double drag series it's actually going to switch up for us so let's throw the ball up real quick let the cpu get it in our next possession we will be in the double drag series so that's how you do it on court if you do not want to pause it and change your series all right so we went over how to change a series on the court now that we're in a timeout i think they actually have the ball so we're not going to be able to do it from here but we can also do it from timeout so you can select series as well right here in offensive mechanics you go over to what series you want 
by selecting the right D-pad or moving the right or left D-pad and you'll be able to move to a different series. So again, we're gonna go over to the double drag series and let's see if this actually sticks. It should stick, we'll see. But our primary focus is gonna be series and then we're gonna be running the double drag. So it let us do it while we were on defense, which is pretty cool because before they did not allow you to do that while you were on defense. You had to do it on the offensive possession. So let's let the CPU score one more time. And then we're gonna make sure we select series on offense again. So hit the right D-pad, go up to game plan and then select run series. That needs to be on. Otherwise they're going to go, you see they're running the Iverson series again. Just even though we just called double drag, they're still running the Iverson series again. So hopefully after we put run series, it's gonna switch for us. If not, we actually have to go pause it again and then change our series that way. So if you'd pause the game and change your series, I think that one actually sticks rather than you selecting it on the court. So I think it's best to select it on the court if you wanna be running multiple different ones if you don't wanna pause the game. But at the same time, doing it on the court actually takes long and you can get the ball stolen from you and all, especially if you're playing against a user. So now, as you can see, we're still in the Iverson series. So we're actually gonna to have to pause the game after this shot. And now we're gonna get into offensive settings and we are going to actually have to change this because it's going to stick because since we changed it in here, it's going to stay like that. So we need to go to double drag series and now it should run double drags for us. All right, so we're in a double drag here. Boom, around both of these screens, just like we did in 2K21. Actually one of my favorite series in the game because we have those double high screens and every single time we come up the court, we're going to have those double high screens. All right, Andrew Wiggins is scoring a bunch for us. so. As we up the court, as you can see, they want a specific person initiating the play. So we got him initiating the play. Sabonis is coming around. Now we're getting these double screens. He's diving. Look at Andrew Wiggins wide open in the corner. I love running series because it definitely chips the opponent up. You can have your freelance set, right? So I'm going to put you on game real quick. I did say I was going to end the video, but we're not going to end the video. I'm going to put you on game real quick. You want to have your freelance set to Hawks. Make sure you have your starter plays right here. And you want to put passing screen away, right? So we got our series set on double drag right and we put our freelance on hawks so we're going to be able to run our series and if the series breaks down we can just get into pass and screen away all right so we got we got the ball back and we're going to set our freelance to hawks 2018 now watch this we are in double drag right once double drag runs through, if we get around these screens and we see something that we don't like, boom, boom. If we call pass and screen away, now we're in a five out because we have Hawks freelance. So now we have multiple things happening at one time. Double drag into pass and screen away, which is a beautiful way to play because now you have multiple looks and then you can combine that with plays on top of it. So there's tons of different ways you can score on the court. So if you're looking for any kind of tips on the Iverson or Double Drag series, make sure you check those out in my old videos. I'll have some more stuff for you guys, but until next time, catch you in the next video, man. Peace.